Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Valheim. Look at me go. I made an at year. I, I have no idea how to say this word. I was contemplating not trying, but then I was thinking, you know what? It's kind of fun to mispronounce words. So I made a black metal at year, and some people said that this was really good in the uh, in the plains biome. I'm not convinced because I, I I don't think I'm gonna be able to block with it. Yeah, the black armor is only 52. Um, although the parry bonus is times two, but I don't know if that's gonna work in the um, planes bound, but you know, I'll give it a shot. Why not? I mean, what's the worst that happens? I die. Not really a huge deal, hopefully. <laughs> but I did make it. And what you want to use this for is your crops. But hold on, not all your crops. I just accidentally used it on these crops. I didn't accidentally use it. I used it. And what you want to do is you want to use the special attack of it, which is middle mouse button. And if you use it in the planes biome on planes biome crops, it works wonderfully. I'll show it to you. I'll show you later. But if you use it here, it destroys your crops, so don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Today's video, we are going to do a change of pace here. I am going to be working on this base, my main base. And I went ahead and dug the trench around this entire thing. And I'm going to be building over here. Now, what I want to do before I build over here is I want to put down um, steps. I'm actually thinking about making this part of the build off the ground a little bit. Like a little bit uh, more off the ground. That could be pretty fun because what's going on here is the ground right over here is at this level, but the ground over here mostly is like one block above it, which is kind of annoying. Um, now, I could just flatten out the ground and make it all one level, or I can make a little stepping stone up here, which would be pretty cool, and kind of have this um, one level higher just to kind of, you know, make everything not so uniform. You know what I mean? So I think that's what we're going to try today. Let me go ahead and move this thing over here okie dokie and then we're gonna take these so i'm um, thinking like three and then have everything else two up have a little like i want a little um little area here but i don't know how big i want yeah i think like that and then what we'll do is oof but that's gonna take more resources which i don't like well maybe not let me will this be blue no okay so it is going to take more resources but not probably not all over the place because eventually the ground will get so high i won't have to put down a second a second block like this uh, let's do this is that good oh there you go all right so it didn't even take that long beautiful and now we could just do like this yeah i kind of like that i kind of like that see if, if the entire if the entire like uh base was just one level you know it works but i don't know i kind of feel like this is going to add a little bit more i don't know coolness factor to it and then we could do is we could put some stairs over here although it looks like i ran out of stone i do have a decent amount of stone um but i don't know if i'm doing enough for all this i want to put down the entire floor first and i've got a very important reason for that anyone who's been paying attention to this let's play knows what i'm talking about and, if, you know, if you haven't seen every video, which is understandable, I will explain it to you. So, when I built this base, I built the wall, and I built this base separately. And because of that, when I, light, when I you know, put down the floor, the base is not going to line up properly. See how this is all off? It's not going to line up properly with the base, because they're not part of the same, you know, structure. Although, uh, yeah, so, that, so what I'm going to do is I want to put down the entire floor here. And then build my next structure. That way I can make sure they are even. And it's going to be quite expensive. So let's go ahead and grab some stairs here. Are there stairs corners? No. no that would have been nice if there were stair corners. But not really that big of a deal to be honest. There we go. And it goes up like this. And we put down the floor. <clears throat> we're going to go right to the end on this. And I'll probably put up the wall last. I'm honestly not really concerned about attacks here. But just for this situation, I'm going to kind of put up the wall here. Just to kind of, you know, do my thing. Alright, there you go. Is that lined up 100%? It has to be because it's lined up with that wall. And these walls are all lined up together. There's no way it can't be lined up 100%. So let's go ahead and fill some more of this in. So this weapon might have destroyed my regular crops, but like I said, if you use it on the crops that you grow in the plains, boom, check it out. How awesome is that? Much, much quicker. 
Also, turn off PvP so you don't accidentally kill your... Your dogs. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That is so good. And then what you do is, like, there's gonna be a few that are left. That you might have to grab. So, well, maybe not. Let me, go, let me come through here. I can't really tell the flax that's been picked and the stuff that hasn't been picked. It looks like it's all been picked. But I won't know until I go through and pick it all up. There we go. So those weren't picked. So you grab a few more. You, you're gonna miss a. You're gonna miss a few. Actually, this is um. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, I remember that from back in the day, man. I totally forgot about it. And I'm like, wasn't there something with that weapon? I could like pick all my crops at once. Yeah. <laughs> now if only I could have something that could plant all the crops at once. But you know. That's all right. At least we got. At least the picking is uh, going quicker. You know, I'm debating leaving this little pit here in between the two parts of my base. Um, it might be pretty cool. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. Uh, I'll tell you right now. If I could fill the pit up with water, I 100% would leave it there. Like if I could fill it, fill it with water, prop, like really fill it. I think that'd be awesome. But yeah, we'll have to see about that. I'll have to see what I want to do with it. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could put some. I don't know. I'll think about it. That's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and pick up some more stone. There we go. And this is almost at the end here, which is great because this is going to be... Actually, um, I'll probably build my bases out of wood at, in this area because um, I think the wood looks better. The stone's a little bit tricky because it takes up like a whole, you know, half a block where the wood just takes up like, I guess, like a a fifth of a block or whatever. The wood the wood feels more like walls, like you would have in your home. And the stone feels more like uh, walls you would have to, you know, protect the base. So I will use the stone as more of a protection thing uh, than anything. Let's go ahead and move this down over here. Beautiful. And it looks like we're going to have to do some more digging here. There we go. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more here. I will probably go out and mess around with some fallings today at some point, probably towards the end of the video, and maybe test out this new weapon. I don't think I'm going to go in after any villages or anything. I kind of want to test like, test out the new weapon very carefully because I fully expect to die. I don't think the weapon's going to be any good at all um, against anything. <laughs> and the fact that I can't block, I think, is going to really mess me up. But you know what? I've been wrong in the past. I could be wrong again. I'm willing to give it a shot. Try anything once, right? go all right that's all looking pretty good we should be able to bring this back a lot more i think i'm gonna make the um yeah i'm gonna make the teleporter thing today i don't know what it's gonna call i don't know what it's gonna be called it's not really like a a, a house it's gonna be just like um just like a little enclosing for the teleporters and it's not gonna be enclosed completely but i definitely want to make multiple teleport i got a lot of grinding doing this game man I gotta get more iron, I gotta get more certain cores, I gotta, you know, just a lot to do. Um, as a matter of fact, I might have to take you on some of the grinds. We'll have to see how things go. Might be interesting to see me, uh, in a... In a crypt, you know, now that I'm all powerful and just smashing, smashing shit. <laughs> it is pretty fun. Like, I don't, it's, it's nice. This game's like, when you go to, like, the, uh, the next biome, like, anytime you finish a biome and you go to the next biome... It's extremely uh, stressful, and you know, I, I in a way I like the stress because the stress is you know fun because it's like a, some say stress, some say challenge, and it is true. It does give you more of a challenge, but at, at the same time, like at some points, like my stress levels get so high, I don't enjoy it. You know what I mean? So we'll have to see where that goes. I gotta bring that piece up. Uh, do I have enough for it? Nope, I don't have any wood on me. I, I would like to carry wood with me while I'm doing this kind of stuff. The problem is then it weighs me down and I can't carry as much stone. So, we'll see. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to bring some of this up. Because I think this stuff's going to collapse. Oh, maybe not. Alright, cool. Alright, almost done. I was just kind of messing around with the building mechanics. Trying to get a curved, you know, piece of a room. And I think I really like this. Now... Uh, this isn't where it's going to stay, but the idea is this will be the entrance, and then I'll have portals going all the way around. And I think that'll work out really well, um, but we're going to have to make it a little bit different. Uh, it's not going to be... This isn't going to be permanent, but this is kind of... i got to kind of turn it 90 degrees. 
So, um, I do want it to be about that far away from the wall. Or that far. Nah, I want it to be that far away from the wall. And it's got to go over this way. Alright, so what I do for this build... Oh, God, freaking work. Dude, the workbenches. Like, I forgot how annoying this was. <laughs> Everywhere you go, there's no workbenches. So let's go ahead and tear this down. And basically what you do is you just rotate the wall one spot for each, like, wall. All right? So what we'll do is we'll take this and... It go so that's gonna yeah all right so you go like that and you go one spot, one spot, one spot, one spot, and we've got to move this out of the way because it's in the freaking way. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot how annoying. Like just, mm. you know, I'll put this over here. It'll be fine right there. So now I've got myself covered pretty good. All right, so that's half of the wall. So let's do the other half. And this is obviously going to start going out over this spot. So we got to put these down. All right. I'm just kind of, you know, playing this by ear and putting stuff where I need it, basically. Uh, actually, I don't think we could break all those up. We got to break one more. Did I get that? I did not. I got to get more stone. These, these uh, foundations are so effing expensive. It's not even funny. Alright, so that goes like that. So that goes one spot. And one spot. And... There we go. Alright, so that'll probably come out another couple spots. Um, I think that looks pretty good like that. I mean, I could make it a little deeper. I guess there's no reason not to. We got the room. And then... You go like this. This this and this you know what that's probably farther than it needs to be let's keep these at two because this right here is two so this will be two and then that makes everything match up properly go and turn and turn and turn oh i didn't even notice those stones there beautiful i'm gonna need those can I put that there? Yes, as long as it's blue, I am good to go. So I've got an idea of how I'm going to be doing all this stuff. Like, like what I'm doing right now, like, when you build in this... When you build in any survival game, you can build one of two ways. You can build, like, jazz, where you just kind of, you know, just kind of going with what you got and improvising and all that good stuff. Or you can have a set... What would be the musical equivalent of jazz, but, like, something that's set in stone... And you have to play it exactly the way it's supposed to be played. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, the opposite of jazz. Um, you could build like we have everything planned out 100%. And that's, you know, it is what it is. And sometimes I build like that. But sometimes I tend to go the more jazz route. Um, where I can improvise and kind of just, you know, go with, go with what the terrain is giving you. I tend to find that going with the terrain is giving you ends up being better builds. Like, I find the mechanical builds like this goes here. That goes there. Everything goes where it's supposed to be. I find those, like, like efficient, but kind of, like, I guess they have less character. I, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't, I don't even know if you guys are getting what I'm saying, but that's the idea. Like, right here. This was supposed to be a walkway going up to here, and that was just, this was the only way I was going to get up to this platform. Now I think I might make a way up to the platform over here. Or, see, this is coming out one more spot. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. But that's tomorrow's problem. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the downside of the jazz way. You gotta, like, try and make everything work in a way that makes sense. Oops. How am I doing? All right. There you go. Turn and turn. All right. Now we just have to put down a, a bunch of foundations. Although, I don't know how I'm going to deal with these curved parts for foundations. Hmm. That's going to be... Yeah, I didn't think about that. All right. Well, let's put down the foundations. Whoops. And let's come over to here. So how am I going to deal with this? So foundation goes there. Foundation goes there. We'll put the foundations on all the flat spots. Um, we are going to need stuff in the middle to hold up foundations. So I'm thinking here, here. I love building with the uh, stone underneath, man. It really makes things um, better for my 
mental health of building. <laughs> just, you know, lines everything up. I do enjoy that. All right. So there and there. And then we put one here. Okay. So how the hell are we going to deal with this? So that would normally go right there. Can you, um... Oh, boy. Uh, I guess that's the only way to do it. It's going to look a little screwed up, but... I don't, I don't have another way of dealing with it. It does look a little messed up. But I, that's a, nothing, nothing I can do about that. It's just um, just the way it's got to be. Went ahead and grabbed a bunch of wood. And this thing came out really cool looking. Even these like corner pieces aren't really bothering me that much. Which has uh, got me very happy to say the least. So what I'm going to do now is <clears throat> I'm going to put one of these down here. These down here. And we're going to put a couple floor pieces up, like so. And we're going to put these up from the side. I like them better from the sides. I think that looks pretty dope. There we go. And then we got to put up some wall pieces. And I guess I'm just... What do I need for these? There's no wall pieces for the dark wood. I don't see any dark... Oh, man, look at this. There's got to be dark wood wall pieces. Am I just missing them? I see roof pieces, I see poles, I see a lot of stuff, but I don't see wall dark wood pieces. Let me know in the comments. I might just be missing. It might be an obvious thing, but... Alright, so I think uh, we'll put this like so. There we go. Put up the walls. And this will be um, for multiple portals. I mean, you could do everything with two portals if you want. Uh, but eventually I'm going to want more than two portals. I don't know how I'm going to put the portals in here, but that's tomorrow's problem. Well, that's not tomorrow's problem. I'm going to do it today, but <laughs> that's, that's five minutes in the future's problem. There we go. All right. So I'll leave that open and you know what? Why don't we just put a portal in there right now? All right. I'm going to go grab the home portal and put it in there and uh, we'll see. Cause I gotta, I gotta like have a gauge of how high the portal is going to be. It's going to be kind of an open room. Um, well, maybe if it's going to be an open room, I guess I don't need a door on the front. Well, it's going to be kind of open. Maybe with a door. I don't know. We'll see. Just kind of go with whatever feels right. There we go. And let's hop on down here and put the home portal. I don't know exactly how I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to do a lot of farming though, man. Like a lot of farming. That's for damn sure. All right, so portal number one. Okay, so that goes right there, obviously. So if that goes right there, then we put another one kind of probably like... Oh, those aren't going to match up properly with the walls. See that? So I'm seeing room for three portals in here. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I wanted to put more than three portals in here. Although, if I only get to put three portals in here, I think I'd be okay with that, too. I could decorate the corners and stuff. I think it'd look pretty cool. We are going to need at least 60 fine wood. I can make all five portals. I didn't think I was going to be able to make all five portals, but I can. I just need to find one. It was funny. I was thinking I need the certling cores, and I kind of do need some certling cores. But I, the fine wood is going to be the bigger deal. Uh, I've got two portals at my home. They're 20 each. I mean, 60 fine wood. Should not be much of an issue. Unless I get killed out here, which would suck. But I do have my new weapon. Although I'm not going to use it against Desquitos because that sounds crazy. Whoa. Freaking lag. Oh, we got a bunch of locks over there. Uh, I really should get the locks. Damn it. I just don't want all three of them to come. Okay. Alrighty. So, do I want to try this out against locks? That seems crazy. Doesn't it? Yeah, you can just stand there. I can kill you. Come on, brah. There you go. Maybe I'll use it against one of them and see how it works. Oh, hold on. Where are you going? Where are you going? Alright, this guy wants to dance. Yeah, I'm just going to get my ass kicked here. I'm pretty sure I can't block with this. or I mean, I mean, I can't block with it, but I don't think it's going to block. I don't think it has enough block damage for them, but let's try. 
Oh, it does! Okay. This might be too slow of an attack, though. One, two... Alright, you know, maybe. I mean, it's definitely doing more damage than my sword. That wasn't... terrible. Huh. I can't believe I can parry with it. That's what I'm surprised about. Like, I didn't think that the parry would work. I don't know where the other guy went. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this one. I'm not even sure if they're both over there or not. The locks have been acting very weird. Is that, like, normal for them? Like, to just run off and never see them again? Ah, damn it. Oh, shit! You piece of garbage. Oh, good. Fight the locks. Alright, cool. I will watch. I wonder how tough a locks really is. Oh, dude, you just wasted his ass. Nice job. Uh, what happened to the last attack there? Alright, whatever. <laughs> I got him. Alright, you know what? I don't hate this weapon. It might be a little bit slow. But, man, that, um... It's not terrible. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than that. I don't know where that other locks went, though. Yeah, he left. Oh, there he is. Okay. I gotta get all these locks, man. I'll make those that locks meat pie stuff. Oh, two more? Okay. Alright. Alright, here we go. That wasn't very good. I think I like these attacks more. The only problem is if I do those attacks, he's gonna get me. Because they're too slow. I could do two. Damn it. No, where are you going, bro? Alright, hold on. There we go. Come on. Guys! I kind of like this weapon. I've got no skill in it either, which is pretty amazing. Oh, there you go. That's <laughs> for any potential YouTubers out there who might be thinking about starting a channel. Read your comments. I know. I know. If you like get popular, it could be a lot, but really, just read as many as you can, because uh, I wouldn't know about stuff like this. You know, what? I'm cool with just two. Um, it doesn't seem like that third one hits anyway. All right, I need some stamina here. All right, come on. You know what? I think two hits is good. Just because of the stamina usage as well. Oh, man. Love it. Four locks. No problem. Although I did have my... I did have my bone mass ability, but whatever, man. That was still awesome. Now let's get what we uh, came here for. I need iron really badly. I have to actually take down my easy bake oven... Just to build this thing over here, but it's gonna be awesome, so I'm okay with doing it. But man, um, yeah, I really need to grind some iron. So the reason I needed the iron was because I want to do these dark wood gates, right? And I have been using uh, dark wood here as well. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I'll do that and that. There we go. And this might be a little bit more inside than I was originally planning. I d I am using these dark wood poles. So that's awesome. Let's go ahead and eat some bread. And I did put down all of the teleporters in here. I want to. Five teleporters should be pretty good. And I don't really know how I want to do this. I didn't I didn't plan for the gate to be this high. I guess I got no other option. Um, I used the dark wood poles four meters. Now I'm going to use the uh, two meters to bring this up. Oh, either way, that's not going to be the right size. I mean, I could... Make it the right size if I put these poles inside of each other, but... Damn. It kind of sucks. Alright, well, it is what it is. As long as it looks okay. And it does. It's kind of weird... That we have dark wood poles that are 4 meters and 2 meters. I think most, most things in this game are 2 meters and 4 meters, right? Seems a little odd, but... Whatevs. It's all good. There we go. And then after this, we just gotta put a roof on it. Tidy up, and I think we're done. Uh, there we go, and there we go. Beautiful. Oh, nope, one more. Alright, cool. 
So how are we going to do this roof? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to do a regular roof here. And... Start off like that. And then can we just, like, rotate that once? And rotate it again? No, I guess not. Hmm. The roof is going to be a little interesting. I'm not really sure I'm supposed to do it. Because if I rotate it once... Then it like, oh, there we go. And then rotate it again. Come on. Oh, wow. Is that really gonna work? Wow, I think this is actually gonna work. Yeah, you just build it the same way you built the floor and the walls. Now, how am I gonna deal with it when it gets to the very top? <laughs> Who freaking knows? I did the best I could with the roof. It's not perfect. Um, there's some holes, I'm gonna fill those in in a moment. I don't know if this is going to be completely waterproof because I didn't do the roof in a in a conventional manner. And the only way they know if it's going to be waterproof is to repair all the floor down here and see if it gets damaged next time it rains. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so let me show you how I did the roof. Okay, it was a little little bit a little tricky. There's you see there's little holes right there, but I don't think it'll really matter that much. Um, the way I did this yeah, that looks just like over here, right? Yep, yep. All right, so um, I couldn't really do the corner pieces exactly the way I wanted to. So what I did was I took these corner pieces and I kind of just slotted them in there. And I think it's going to... I think it's going to work. And it actually looks pretty good. Like, honestly. Yeah. And then I got that all in four corners. This is good on the top. Everything's looking good. I think we're done here. You guys are probably going to have to wait till next episode to see if the rain messes up the floor. Unless it rains before I'm done here. But I don't think it will because I think I'm just about done. So let's go ahead and do something with these windows. I'm thinking maybe like this or... That's pretty cool. Um, we could do something with cage walls except for the... It's expensive. Um, dark wood divider. <gasps> oh. Oh. Shit, how much more dark... Ah, see? I don't have enough freaking tar for this stuff. Son of a... Biscuits, but I really want to use that. Alright, I'm going to use it anyway, and I'll just put it wherever I can. And, um, I'll go farm some more tar at some point. I really like these. I just don't know where to put them. I'm thinking, like, yeah, it's not the middle. So this would have to go... See, there's no middle here. I could just do it like that. Or... I could do it like this. I kind of like that better, to be honest. And then... Right here. Probably only be able to do this one more time. How much more? Yeah, only two char left. Damn it. I knew I was going to like building with this shit, too. <laughs> and now I gotta go out and get more tar. I hate fighting those guys. They suck. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put up some railings. I will probably replace these railings with... Uh, dark wood railings. I mean, I'm gonna dark wood the shit out of this uh, when I actually have the dark wood to do it. But for now, um, regular railings will be fine. So, beam. Kind of like this. Like, oh, no, not like that. Like that. And like that. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Come on. Work with me. Really? Not gonna work with me? Fine. There you go. Alright, cool. And then we'll put these across here. Actually, eh, whatever. It'll probably still look good like that anyway, because we're gonna put these right here. Alright, and this goes right there. That goes right. Nope, not there. Right there. Okay. This is a hell of a cool portal room, portal room man. Portal room, man. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then like this. Okay. Alright, I think we are done here. Alright, this thing came out even better than I, I was hoping. This is a pretty cool portal room. And it's going to look even better when I get more of that dark wood stuff. Alright, either way, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. 
I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.